Hello once again. So uh, as you have watched, what we're doing here today is defense against chokes from the rear or from behind. And uh, I have put some videos for you that your imagination will work a little bit better just like we did in the previous video. <laughs> We are the big pool. You think that? So as I always try to do, I'm gonna show you the technique. Try to show it from a couple of direction a little quicker. Then I'm gonna take some time to explain it to you. And maybe even make you aware of some uh, mistakes that are very common when people do it uh, with two people. So. You're being choked and pushed. And since in this art we do not work power against power, then it would be illogical for you to resist if somebody pushes you. Therefore, as he pushes, you would take a step forward and slightly to your right if you indeed step forward with your left foot. Your left hand will protect your face and your right hand will, or your right arm will come from the front by first moving the shoulder forward and rubbing your bicep along your face to a place that there's no light shining here and there's a pinch on his fingers and wrist behind my neck. Once that happened, I'm gonna rise to the ball of my feet and turn my whole body as one towards him using my entire body against that wrist. Once I faced him, and this is with knees, pelvis, chest, everything, I did a fire strike straight to his center face, or I'm gonna hit with a hammer blow straight to his center face. Again from the front, I get pushed, so I'm gonna go with the push, bring the hand tight, no light to show, up to the ball of my feet, turn it all the way through, a strike, and one more time, I will establish a fighting position. One more time slow in this direction. And one more time slow in this direction. There's a couple of mistakes that people do here. First mistake, as they get pushed, they simply step directly forward. Now as they turn, they turn off balance. So as you turn, just leave this foot slightly to the side. So now you've just been an opposite basic stand, been an opposite basic stand, okay? Next, Next, as people move forward, they leave a large gap here. That means that as they turn, they work on the forearm of their attacker and not the wrist. And the forearm is powerful. Last mistake that commonly people do here is as they turn, they keep, I'll do it from the rear, you'll see it actually better, as they turn, they keep the elbow forward here. That means that there's still hands on you and your punch is kind of just from your tricep. It's mainly happening because their chest is not yet face forward, it's actually to the chest side. If their hand have been here and they will pay attention to turning the chest, they'll get a lot more rip. And from here, they're gonna get a hit that is not just the tricep, 
is the whole body. It's also the tricep, but it's down to even your core muscles as you're hitting. So you get a lot more substantial strike. Next will be defense against choke from the rear with a pull. Again, this is that individual that will try and bring you to him, causing you this kind of feeling on your body, okay? Here's a couple of times from various direction. Again, I'm gonna do it fast and try to break it down for you. Slow. Slow, it's Krav Maga, and the, art, the concept is the same. If he pulled me, I cannot resist. He is most likely much stronger than I am, not to mention it's a surprise. Therefore, I have to go along with it. I'm just gonna step. As he pulls me from the neck, I'm gonna take my left foot and step backwards and to the left. That is important. If I get to the rear, you realize that by doing that, I'm actually exposing his center line to my striking hand. As I'm doing this, I'm gonna reach with my fingers, just fingers, no thumbs, like hooks. As far as I can, by primarily bringing my head down too, to resist the pull, and I'm gonna rip his thumbs towards my chest with the goal of maintaining one of his hand with my left and continuing with the right to a strike to his groin. It is done in one motion. One. One more time. One. One more time. One. Once you strike the groin, you add a secondary strike, either to his midsection or to his chin, based just on his relation to you. So again, I went, ha, ha. Again, I went, ha, ha. And again, I went, ha, ha. The common mistakes, I already pointed it out to you. One, people straight, straight back, and they don't have anything to hit. Two, people have this illusion that they have more flexibility to get to their fingers from here. But by doing so, they are compromising their posture, even if they bring in a foot to the rear. The truth of the matter is that you're going to reach much farther back if you're going to take yourself to here. Now, you can reach much farther and you can also resist if somebody trying to pull you on your butt. The next mistake that people do is they forget to hold and they forget that this is one motion. So instead of doing this technique in a two beat, as in ha, ha, they do it in a three beat, as a ha, 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 okay? Which is much longer and less effective. So again, 
this is one motion, and this was defense against choke from the rear with a pull. The next technique we are dealing with is a defense against choke from the rear with a pull. Um, and this is not a small pull, this is an individual that actually is yanking you to a large degree and not stopping. And then I'm gonna get into something that most people don't really, don't really know about this technique as well. But here it is. One more time from the rear. You have a large, large pool over here. Something that will cause you that kind of motion. You would run with both hands to one side by even taking your head and bringing it slightly lower. I do the first turn on my heel and that means you can make it small or you can drag it big if you want. Depends on his pull. Both hands to one side. My right hand will pull his thumb right off and the left hand gonna join to the other side but as I keep getting pulled, I'm going to achieve this kind of grab, okay? And that means that this hand is the one that holds his thumb, and this hand is the one that holds his, his pinky root, okay? So again, I'm going to go, pick, I grab. From here, keeping him far, you don't need to keep him close, because you have one hand occupied holding, sorry, you have two hands occupied holding only one of his. You don't need him close. I'm going to fire a kick and still land forward. If you see he is still far, now I'm going to bring myself to the structure. Bring myself over the wrist and collapse his wrist to the ground. Once he starts to fall, I'm going to elevate so he can't move too far. And I'm either going to stomp his liver or with the other foot stomp his face just based on what's comfortable for me. So again, one more time. <clears throat> I think that in this technique, the most common mistake to do is for your attacker not to understand what is he trying to do. So he just doesn't pull you, he holds you. He needs to come and pull. The second thing that people have a problem with is the understanding of how to manipulate the wrist. Now, the wrist, his wrist, need to come to a place that his pinky is towards the ceiling. If I'm going to come to the other side, that is what I'm going to do to him. So as the arm pulled, the pinky is going to climb up towards the ceiling. As that happened, I would want to roll the wrist in that direction towards the floor. <sighs> and that wrist cannot handle it. If you look at what I'm doing, the whole structure is hooked to my body. Therefore, I'm not working with my arms at all. I'm just working with my entire body against, against, again, against one single wrist. Next, you have to realize this. If he pulled me big, 
I will add a big step. Mm. If he pulled me small, I can add a small step. Some people don't pull at all. And before you get upset with them, remember, you can still do the technique even if they push you, simply by going, oh. So you can actually execute this technique from a pull, from a small pull, from no pull, or even from a push, if you understand your footwork well enough. I hope it was enough details. I hope you're gonna get out there and try. I hope you're gonna get out there and work. And again, if you're one of my kids and you have siblings, and please, easy on each other's wrists, no fights, it's already difficult for your parents anyhow. Oh, I forgot. Happy birthday, Ravi. Thinking about you.